10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! Hello, class! Hi, I'm Hitti Briad Kristi. I'm Unnusta, mamma, Trikja, Batna, Lögfræðingur og Hjólar. Flestir hugsa sér að vera hjólari á Íslandi sé frekar erfitt og krefjandi. Ég er kallt sérska nýju mánuði á ári og það hjólu inni. Svo fyrir við út og það er enda kallt. En það er ekki að gera landslag. Þetta er landa sem að gerir mann ansi harðan í hlustum. I used to play soccer when I was a teenager and got injured at the age of uh, 18. So after that I was like really always looking for something that, that could be mine. I got a bike as a gift, an old cyclocross bike that my friend had. Um, they were trying to get me into cycling and I just had zero interest in doing it. Um, the bike was in the garage for 12 months and then I went for a ride. And uh, the day after I think I went and bought Juice, second juice. So but it took me like two years to go all in to it. So started slowly, but uh, escalated quickly. The cycling community in Iceland is quite big now, but wasn't a few years ago. It has like expanded massively over the past two or three years. There's one place you could go to train indoors at, the, at that time. Um, two years later, you can go to like five, six different clubs just within Reykjavik. It's not, not really a big city. And a lot of people started to train indoors because usually the summer here is like three months and three months of not really warm months. So like people didn't ride during the winter, but now everybody trains during the winter really hard. Everybody goes to Spain once or two times because you don't go outside riding here unless like it's, it's really snowy and stuff during the winter. And now you have many, many cycling clubs with up to 200 members. Um, we have a pretty nice community here uh, in Iceland. I can feel now that during the winter um, and training indoor at home in the garage, it's really important to be able to go maybe once a week and meet with a group just to get the, you know, the vibe and like we, we're there for each other. And that's, a, that's a part of keeping sanity for those nine months when you're training inside. That's typical Tintin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's no show. There's always school dash. <laughs> always. Oh. Even on a freaking Sunday, right? So I went to the World Championships last year and being there riding next to all of the pros, being a mom of three and a full working lawyer, I think it's pretty amazing to say that you were able to do that at that age and that time in your life. I've been doing quite good this summer. I've had um, three races and won two of them and on the third one we had a sprint to finish by 0 0.00 some shit that I lost. Now next week we have the final race as it's like a series of four races. If I do good next weekend I'll be, uh, that will be my really big first world title in Iceland so uh, I'm gonna push for that. People would probably think that going to a gravel race like five days before this uh, road race would not be the ideal preparation, and that's probably true. <laughs> Looking at the weather forecast for the last two weeks every day, seeing how, how windy and how rainy it will be, probably. Two, one, and go!
what I love about cycling mostly is about you control how challenging it is for yourself. So like my favorite rides are the ones that I leave my brains out on the road um, and can't pedal home. Training all those hours with three kids can really be a challenge, you know? At the end, I can feel their excitement and how proud they are when we're racing. Just for example, when I was in Sweden last week, uh, my daughter texted every day. And like, so super, super proud. And they see how much time and how much effort I put into my rides. I think it's a good thing to just to see how much you can push yourself. And that helps them push themselves in, in what they're doing. It's not the most important part of it, but it's still important for me. And I still wanna be the best one. If I know there was a moment of doubt for myself in the race and that's and I didn't push myself hard enough or I didn't leave everything out there and I didn't deserve it anyways. <laughs>